This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. When you have a scammer and a grifter and a scumbag as president of the United States, naturally you're going to have a flock of vultures who are also grifters who encircle that president. And that is what we've experienced over the course of the last almost four years with Donald Trump. He is no longer allowed by law to be on the board of a charity. Let's, let's put this in perspective. The president of the United States of America, is it is against the law for him to be on the board of a charity in the state of New York because he scammed and was fraudulent with his charitable foundation. None of his kids can either. He defrauded students, people who paid tuition to learn about the real estate trade with Trump University. He's a liar and he's a grifter. And those around him are as well. Enter Mike Lindell. You've probably seen him. He goes by the My Pillow Guy. That'll be the last time that I refer to him as My Pillow Guy because I'm not going to advertise for his trashy crap pillows. Mike Lindell likes to put himself out there as an inventor. An inventor. It's a pillow, dude. You didn't invent the pillow, and you most certainly did not invent a better pillow. You will also notice that he always has the cross hanging outside of his shirt, also advertising his faith. Not to proselytize, but to let you know he's a Jesus guy. So maybe you'll think he's honest. He is not. Yeah, so this man, this Christian man, is a big supporter of Donald Trump. Big supporter. So big that I get emails like this one from him via the campaign saying that, uh, Everybody loves Donald Trump. Some just don't know it yet. This great Christian man who's always advertising his faith apparently doesn't care about uh, encaging children, denying health care to the sick and the poor, turning off food stamp benefits to hungry American children. None of that really bothers him. Racism doesn't really bother Mike Lindell. Because he thinks Donald Trump is the greatest president in the history of the United States. Anyway, I'm going to play a very brief segment from this interview because, uh, well, first of all, let's, let's talk about why he's in the news. He is on the board of a company that is hawking a coronavirus cure. He says in the interview, in later parts of it, that he cannot transmit nor contract the coronavirus because he's on this supplement, this unproven supplement. Again, I encourage you to watch all of the interview. It's almost 20 minutes long, but I'm going to play about two minutes of it just to give you a flavor. And then we're going to talk about Mike Lindell and this lie that he is, that he's uh, propagating that there's another cure, not just hydroxychloroquine, but this new thing that actually comes from a toxic plant that could kill you. Sir, you said you've seen this test. Where is it? The, uh, the, the tests are out there. The, the thousand well, people, phase where, one and phase where two. Where is the test? They, uh, Show it to us. I don't, I don't have Name the test. Name where it's me. from. Who did the test? What, what, what university? What doctors? Well, you'd have to talk to, uh, I guess you'd have to have uh, Dr. Carson and then the company, uh, the, the, all the you tests. You said that you were saw done the test. Show. You read the test. So tell me about the test. How, where was the, it done? The test, it was done on over a thousand people. To where was, it, where was it. it done? And what were the procedures for the test? You read this. Let's hear the it. The procedures are it was used against cancer. So they did, when you do a safety test of phase one and phase two, it's to see if there's any, any, There's been uh, no phase uh, one and phase two on this on this drug, that? sir. There's been no phase one and phase two on yeah, this drug, Yeah, sir. absolutely there has. The FDA has had it since April. A hundred percent. You're just misconstrued because the media is trying to take away this amazing cure that sir, works for sir, everybody. Let, okay, so just for our, our viewers, you have no medical background. You're not a scientist. A guy called you in April, said he had this product. You are now on the board 
and going to make money from the sale of this product. No, no, no. The reason no, he no, reached no, out to you is because you have the ear of the president. So you he gets no, a meeting with the president and you no, stand to make money no, from this. How do you sleep Anderson, at night? Anderson, that's your narrative. Um, this is You're I just not going to make money last from this week because because they want I don't care about the money. I think I've proven that really? I give millions of dollars to everything that happens from hurricanes to four million dollars with the mask that I gave out free from pocket. I just want to say, if you let me talk here, sure. I will tell you, they put me on the board last week because when this come, when this gets approved by the FDA, which it will, it's passed every safety test. They have all the studies done, which the, you the don't FDA have doesn't really to approve supplements. FDA. When this comes out, when this comes out, this company wanted me because I help people. That's my passion. And I can scale things to get it out to everybody to save our country, right. to get Sir, to save there's lives. There's no evidence. To save lives. How are you different than a snake oil salesman? You have no medical background. There's no evidence of the substance. It hasn't been tested in animals or humans. I think my platform stands by itself, a platform that God gave me of integrity and trust. I would not go all in on something to help All right. Well, first of all, uh, misconstrued is a verb, Mike Lindell. To misconstrue the definition to interpret something, especially a person's words or actions, wrongly. It's not an adjective like dumb or wrong, Mike Lindell. Let's talk a little bit about Mike Lindell and this particular drug. The Washington Post back in August wrote an article, published an article uh, entitled The Lost Days of Summer, How Trump Fell Short in Containing the Virus. And I'm going to read a couple paragraphs from that. The president recently hosted Andrew Whitney, a biopharmaceuticals executive on the board of a company called Phoenix, who met in the Oval Office with Trump. Whitney, who has a limited health background, pitched Trump on a botanical extract called oleandrin as a treatment for the coronavirus, according to two senior administration officials with knowledge of the discussion. One official said Mike Lindell a Trump booster and chief executive of MyPillow, who stars as pitchman for his product and advertising on some of the Fox News shows Trump watches, helped arrange the meeting. Since then, Whitney has personally made overtures to senior leaders at the Food and Drug Administration, including its commissioner, Stephen Hahn, in an effort to get the agency to approve oleandrin as a treatment for coronavirus. The agency, the Food and Drug Administration, which declined to comment, has not made any sort of approval. Whitney and Lindell did not respond to requests for comment. So this is a grifter who is now in the orbit of Donald Trump trying to get his company that he's on the board of to profit by trying to get another dangerous remedy, snake oil remedy, approved in the treatment of coronavirus. This particular study is not a study, first of all. It's a, a, like an 18-page paper, only like eight pages of which are actual data, is from the company. It's not credible. I'm going to read from Market Watch. While a July study out of Texas showed that in test tubes, oleandrin could inhibit the coronavirus in monkey kidney cells, This study has not been peer-reviewed or published yet, and there are no published reports that oleandrin has been tested to treat COVID-19 in animals or human hosts. In fact, the United States Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases also conducted some preliminary testing of oleandrin against SARS-CoV-2, the novel coronavirus causing the disease COVID-19 recently. It stopped because the results were inconclusive. The army stopped because of inconclusive results. So some of the study details. Two things are very alarming. One, the length of this thing. This is not what a biomedical study looks like. This is 18 pages in a PDF, eight of which actually contain studies, the study details. The rest of it's filled with an abstract and an introduction, and then this reference list, this reference list that's many, many pages long. But look at this in the header. Version posted July 15, 2020. The copyright holder for this preprint 
which was not certified by peer review, is the author slash funder. So the people who fund and author the study are the same. That's motivated reasoning, folks. And not peer reviewed, which means they haven't submitted this for other people who are not financially interested to review their data and see if they come up with the same results. They haven't done that yet. And then also on page nine, competing interests. RAN is a chief science officer of Phoenix Biotechnology Incorporated, and KJS is a paid consultant with Phoenix Biotechnology Incorporated. Again, thick as thieves in here. This is the company putting out a study of its own results in an effort to get people to think that this is, come on, <laughs> come on. But we shouldn't be surprised that Mike Lindell is involved in this because Mike Lindell is a liar and a scammer. And some would say, many people are saying, a criminal. Mike Lindell, uh, back in 2016, had to pay a settlement, an, a $1 million settlement for bogus claims. He was claiming that his pillow cures things like multiple sclerosis and fibromyalgia from a Market Watch article. I'm sorry, from a Consumer Reports article. Mike Lindell, CEO of MyPillow, once said that, quote, people are tired of phony advertising. But the company found itself being accused of misleading advertising in a civil lawsuit brought earlier this year by several California consumer protection groups. My pillow agreed to settle the case this week and pay almost $1 million in civil penalties. Late night infomercials and other ads claimed that the company's pillows could cure not only insomnia, but also such ailments as sleep apnea, fibromyalgia, and even multiple sclerosis. In August, New York's Attorney General, Eric Schneiderman, he's no longer the Attorney General, this was back in 2016. In August, New York's Attorney General Eric Schneiderman announced a $1.1 million settlement that resolved a whistleblower case against MyPillow that alleged that MyPillow knowingly failed to collect and remit sales tax on purchases made by New Yorkers over the phone or internet. Sounds like a straight up good Christian man scamming governments out of, you know, what's, what's the scripture? Render unto Caesar what is Caesar, and render unto God what is God's. Apparently, he doesn't believe that part of the Bible because he's trying to scam uh, the state of New York out of over half a million dollars in sales tax. And then in 2017, his A rating for his company was dropped to an F rating by the Better Business Bureau, again, because of uh, dubious advertising practices. So why? Why would we think anything different about Mike Lindell? Why would this be a case where he's not lying? Anderson Cooper was right to take him to task. In fact, Anderson Cooper took him to task at the very end of the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the interview about as perfectly as he could in the greatest summation in maybe any CNN interview that's ever aired. Watch this. Just, just in summation, I just wanna make sure this is right. You have no medical background. You have no scientific background at all. You have a financial stake in this company. You, uh, you don't know, you can't give any details about an alleged study of a thousand people that you allegedly have read, but you remember nothing about it, not one single detail other than you say a thousand people. Uh, this, uh, this has not been tested anywhere outside, one lab, uh, in a test tube, never been tested in animals, never peer reviewed, studied, tested, published, studied uh, in people, never studied against COVID-19, no peer reviewed, no published studies, and yet you say this is the cure for COVID. Can aren't I give you there, my answer? Aren't there, and you have Can a I history of, you and, you have, and you have a history of running ads that you have had to make massive settlements for because they were deceptive 
uh, deceptive testimonials claiming medical benefits can, for your Can plan. I give you my answer? Can I Please give you do. my answer? No. Um, the first three, you are correct. I have no medical background. I'm not a scientist. I'm, but, uh, number, but I did do my due diligence, and you're wrong. There has been studies with the COVID, with humans. It's not published yet that the FDA has. There's a one with 1,000 people for safety. It has passed phase one and phase two. If you checked on that, I'm sure you could find that out. That is true. And you nothing. You can't and, say And I, I will say, let me better. finish my answer. And yes, I have been attacked with frivolous lawsuits that I had to settle because I backed the greatest president this country's ever seen in history when I first met him. And I met him and I'm going, wow, what a great way to have a pragmatic, common sense president that is the stuff he's done, promises kept, promises made, the greatest president in the history of the United I mean, you're States. I he's watching That's so right you'll now. get another meeting. Uh, I, I get it. Yeah. You have no medical background. You have no science background. You can't remember any of the details of the study that you claim you've read. Not any of the details. Why are we to believe you when you're going to profit from this drug because you're on the board of this company? Grifters, scam artists, liars, and scumbags. That is what we need to run away with. Run away from, excuse me as fast as our little feet can carry us. This November, when we have the choice to put someone honorable and decent and different than Donald Trump in the Oval Office. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think. 714-576-4054. You can email me daily at dollamore.com. I read every single email. I listen to every single voicemail. Uh, I'm going, I am going to start, I know I say it, but I am going to start more regularly doing mailbag episodes where I play and answer questions, play voicemails and answer questions and read emails on the show. So uh, submit those. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Um, hey, follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on uh, everywhere. If you listen to podcasts, I've got a podcast called I Doubt It with Dollamore. You can find that wherever you find podcasts. I'd appreciate you connecting with me. The other thing is if you would like to help produce this show, help uh, um, support independent media, independent media voices like mine, click the join button down there for fewer than $2 a month. You can help support independent news, independent reporting, independent analysis, and uh, I would appreciate it. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Be genuine. Take care of one another.